Hello everybody, I'm Sanji. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much. I appreciate you checking me out. For those of you that have been here before, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. I definitely appreciate it. Alrighty, so real quick off the bat, what we do around here, number one, if you haven't subscribed already, please check me out, watch the video, and hopefully you will do so. After subscribing, and for those of you who already have, if you haven't hit that little bell yet, please hit the bell so that you will know when I, when I upload new content, you will receive a notification. Also, second thing we do around here, we comment on the video. You check it out, you see what it's about, and then you give your two cents on the topic, whatever it is. The only thing I ask is that we're respectful of everybody, me included, <laughs> that you voice your opinions, even if you don't agree with me. But of course, as always, we keep things peaceful and on a high vibration around here, everything positive. But that doesn't mean that you can't give be a straight shooter. We just ask that you are respectful of everyone around you in the community. And third, if you have some other things that you would like to see done, or of course, I ask you to, you know, let me know what you would like for me to do a video about, but also share the video with others so that you can have comprehensive conversations with those around you. Like, let's get it talking. Let's everybody talk about what's going on out there. And that's it, okay? And fourth, of course, come back for the next video. Alrighty, so the business is out of the way. What are we talking about today? Well, today it is finally here. I have gotten so many emails and requests from different people saying, what about the cuspers? Do something on the cusp. So, it is now your time to shine, Zodiac Cuspers. This video series is for you. So, when you are a person that is considered a cusp, what is that? Well, everybody has some inner conflict. That's just what it is that's going on. That's part of being human, the human experience. However, for a cusper, they feel as though they're caught between two zodiac signs and inner conflict feels like a part of their DNA. Now, the definition of a cusp sign is a birthday that falls on the time when the sun leaves one zodiac sign and enters into another. So, in general, you are on the cusp if you're born about three days before or three days after the change in a sun sign. And you'll know you're a cusper, or you'll feel like you relate to this because you possess personality traits from both signs, from the sign, your, your sun sign, your definite sun sign, but also some lingering traits from the neighboring sign, okay? Now, if you were born on the cusp, all right, you may technically be, you are definitely whatever that sun sign is, it's absolute. If it says that you're a cancer, so to speak, then you're a cancer. But for a cusper, they feel more like a Leo, all right? Or, here's another strong example, if you're a lovely, lovely diplomatic Libra, that's the sun sign that you have. However, you've got some stinger and some bite in you, then you kind of feel like a Scorpio. Now, typically people that have those, again, three days before or three days after the sun has entered into the new zodiac sign. So now being born on the cusp, can give you a variety of qualities that can be a blend of sunshine and in different ways, a little bit of hell, <laughs> okay? People sometimes have a hard time figuring you out because you don't exactly fit the mold of what your sunshine should be. Now, learning about both the blessings and the curses of your cuss sign can help you embrace your interesting 
and sometimes kind of complicated self, all right? Now, cusps are controversial in the astrological world, all right? Just face it. There are astrologers that won't touch it. They don't believe in it. They say that the astrology is an absolute science. The numbers add up, so there's no such thing as a cusper. However, if you insist that you connect with qualities from your neighboring sign, then it's likely that you are inexplicably a cusper. That's just who you are. You are a heavy blend of both zodiac signs, and if that's how you feel, then that's what you are, and this video is for you. So, how does this whole cusp thing affect? Who are these people? What are they like? Do you have a cusper in your life? Well, I'm gonna finally explain some general qualities you might find going on with your cusper. Stay tuned. Let's jump right in. Hello, Cancer Leo Cusp. It is your time to shine. Now, if you were born on the Cancer Leo Cusp between July 19th and July 25th, you were born on the cusp of oscillation. And you, my friend, are a powerfully influential person. Now, put sun sign cancer and sun sign Leo in one body, and what are you gonna get? Well, drama, lots and lots of drama. So, the Cancer Leo cusp is all about movement, emotional and physical. So you swing from one emotion to the next, and the challenge for this cusp sign is to find your emotional center. Now this moon sun combo might appear shy when in first when you first meet a person that's on this cusp, but by the end of the night, <laughs> that same person could be hogging the mic, talking your ear off, and singing multiple songs on karaoke. So again, the Cancer Leo thing has the moon energies, the moon sun swinging pendulum. This is an internal battle going on within the Cancer Leo cusp. Now, those born on this cusp can be sensitive to criticism and they're known to hold a grudge. So, you want to make sure that although they're being the life of the party, you're being kind of careful at how you gauge your comments to a Cancer Leo cusp. Now on the flip side, they're very affectionate people and they're quite devoted. This cusp sign loves to love and they love to be loved, all right? Now this cusper, Cancer Leo cusp, is known to put on a brave face but take note, they are easily wounded inside. So again, you wanna be careful when it's coming to the critique of a Cancer Leo cuss because they're gonna take it, your words cut deep, and they're going to remember them for a very, very long time. Now, being ruled by two very contrasting elements, the combination of water for your Cancer side and fire for your Leo side can create a scalding steam internally. Now the water element emphasizes the emotions that you have, but the fire side in you can make those emotions come tumbling out in a more volatile way than most cancers are used to delivering. And instead of being constructive, it can be a little blistering hot you know, like Steve. Being born on the cusp of oscillation, you are a great lover as well as a leader. You have those qualities inside of you. And this helps you come across as both influential but commanding as well. So you connect with people very easily and you have the charisma and emotional intuition to get going and to get other people going and to get people to do 
what you ask them to do. Because you swing, you have just enough caring and emotion, but also the Leo, the fire sign of you, can really rally people, get them going, and get them moving in the direction that you want. Just make sure that you're using <laughs> these powers of persuasion for good and not personal gain. Now, when your sun and moon balance each other and they're in sync, you'll do amazing things. You'll be very well received by everybody. Things will flow quite evenly for you. However, if your energies are off in any way and you're feeling more sensitive, which is your cancer side, or more dramatic, which is your Leo side, then you're off and you're feeling more one way than the other, you may be inclined to become manipulative. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Cancer Leo cuspers are known to be manipulative people. So you gotta watch that. Now, you are influenced by two drastically different signs. This <laughs> Cancer and Leo can't be more different than each other. And it will take a, an effort on your part to keep yourself even to make these energies work together instead of against each other so that you don't constantly feel that there's this internal battle. You know, a lot of cuspers that are born under Cancer Leo feel like they have good angel and bad angel and they are constantly trying to decide which one they should listen to, all right? So if you, but if you balance it out, right? If you, if your balance is out of whack, right? And you've got both of them talking in your ear and you become overly sensitive or too dramatic and aggressive, it's a problem. People don't know how to perceive you. So it's really important that Cancer Leo cuspers maintain an inner balance and meditation helps with that. You have to have relaxation techniques, uh, different things you can do to just stay even keel so that you're not too emotional or too dramatic and hyping everything up and everything's this really huge deal for you. Because to flip flop between these moves can make you very difficult for people to understand and to get along with. So, wanna try to keep it even, Cancer Leo, meditate, Usa. Now, you're just a passionate, romantic person, that's who the core of you are, and you need attention and patience from your partner. So it's important that a Cancer Leo picks the right person that brings out the best sides of you, that they're not making you too emotional and they're not making you too dramatic because a Cancer Leo cuss, boy, they can bring it to you. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna bring that heat to you that a Cancer does because a Cancer can get really intense when they're emotional, but also you got that Leo there and that Leo is going to roar and it, it's going to be blistering. So... You don't want to do that. You want to have a romantic partner in your life that keeps you balanced, that keeps you zen for the most part, all right? You, you have a natural instinct to nurture and encourage others with the leadership skills to make a great team. So that's what you want to do. That's what you want to focus in on. You want to focus in on the good qualities, on keeping things balanced, on using your emotional side and your flair for the dramatic to win, to make things positive. And you want to avoid petty drama and meaningless gossip. You fall victim to that narrow-mindedness, that way of life, and it's a slippery slope for you, and it's gonna bring out the negative extremes of your personality. You're going to find yourself either going way too far into the emotionalism of it, or way too dramatic in acting out the things that the gossip brings about. So. Cancer Leo Cuspers, stay balanced and use your powers of persuasion for good and you will be just fine. So that's it. Are you a Cancer Leo Cusper? How are those mood swings for you? You know, I have some Cancer Leo Cuspers that I spoke to before I did this video and they had some other things that they do as far as meditation and other things to keep themselves calm, but I'm not recommending any of that on this video. But they they did verify that, you know, you do have the yin and yang, the good and the bad angel on your shoulder, but you know, 
everybody kind of alludes to that anyway. So let me know what you think. Do you know a Cancer Leo Cusper? What has been your experience? Leave it in the comments section below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, I'd appreciate you doing so. And don't forget to hit the bell. Until next time, take care of yourself, Cancer Leo Cuspers. I'll see you in the comments. Bye-bye.